Welcome, guys. Chugga, chugga. Choo, choo. Come on, ride the train and ride it. So, yeah, you guys probably should have just seen CGB coin mats at 10 a.m. And now we're here at the Coin Crew Nation. So, hope you had fun already starting off the day with a cool guy, Matt. And after us, you'll see the Wild Wild West. And then we'll be going to Heads or Tails Living. And then keep that train of going to the Triple P, Poo Poo Poo, Pistol Packing Pilot. And then my man, the cool dude, Stacks and Stuff. And then after that, we will see Plumber Stacker. And to finish us off, you will see the man, the myth, the legend, the maddest stacker in the world. Oh, and don't forget, after Mad's video, I'm pretty sure he's going to be doing an auction for our friend and pal out there, Robert Worley, a.k.a. the Flyman. So he's going to be selling his stack. So, hey, head on over there after all this fun. Hey crew, Angel here today, and Keith just got these in and put them on my desk because he didn't know what to do with them. And here's some information I found out about them. Did you ever think that the first page of your success story would be so beautiful? Or <laughs> look at the gleaming artistic medallions you have just received. Hyping you up for it. That's right, one of the most superlative artistic metal or medallions of our time and masterwork and antique finish sculpture is yours an unbelievable introductory price of only one dollar these are the sterling ones here's some more information it says there's a bonded five-year guarantee every subscriber who purchases a complete american triumph series of 60 coins may at any time up to april 30th 1976 return the entire series but like right here we further warrant the initial subscriber price of eight dollars per solid sterling silver metal and five dollars per pewter all right well i guess i don't know what the dollar was maybe that's like the beginning to get you hooked in or whatever they said that they will not charge any more than eight bucks even if silver goes up so i guess that's kind of cool so the guy didn't get jacked on this one and so basically the guy only got one third of the set yeah right here congratulations are in order the shipment of the great american triumphs medallion means that your collection is one third complete because i guess this is like a 60 piece set this is like the frame that it comes in but of course we took it out of the frame because it was all like mildewy and stinky but i do have the inserts so I did a little bit of research and these are something kind of cool these are like the these are from the Longines Symphonette Society so they created this see it says Longet Symphonette and then it says sterling silver and each one of these is marked 194 because that was the that was the number of the customer so all of all of the ones that went to a specific person were marked with a specific number so this customer was the one that received 194 but he only received a third of the set cuz it was like a 60 coin set and they started this out in 1971 and they guaranteed them it will contain no less than 525 grains of solid sterling silver. So, I'm pretty sure that 525 grains of solid, solid sterling silver equivalates to a little over one ounce of pure silver. So, each one of these has a little over one ounce of pure silver. And these are the Great American Triumph series. So, like, this one is the, the Brigham Young from 1847. And then it has a little bit, yeah, 1801 to 1877. 
and it tells you a little bit of information so I'll just show you a little peek of each one James Audubon so there's some information about him scientific methods of foremost naturalists naturalists hmm is that like a nudist society or something I don't know huh Samuel F. B. Morse began a new era in communications when the words what hath God Roth flashed by a telegraph all right so telegraph thing and then we got the Pony Express which that's pretty sweet and I mean look at the detail on these they they have like some cool high reliefness I mean the back isn't as cool but the fronts are pretty sweet I'm gonna take my horse. I'm gonna take my horse to the old time road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. <laughs> That's just what it reminded me of. So what's this? Fulton's Folly? Some kind of boat, man. I'm on a boat. 62 historic hours. That's a long time, man. What's this? The Lewis and Clark Expedition. Hey, I'm familiar with that one. St. Louis. St. Louis. Good old St. Louis. And then we have, what's this? Old Ironsides, 1812. During the War of 1812, the Frigate Constitution, under Abel's command of Captain Isaac Hull, conquered the almighty British Frigate thereafter as Old Ironside. So that's kind of cool. And what else do we have? Eli Whitney and the Cotton Gin. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton I do. I've been thinking long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton I do. It's the Alamo. Yeah. So the Alamo. 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 Washington, farewell to his officers. Goodbye, officers. 1783. Whoa, that's a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? All right, get off of the Cotton Eye Joe, man. Washington crossing the Delaware. Yeah, I think they just made it like a quarter about this. It's like one that everybody's trying to get. The Washington crossing the Delaware. Whoosh. What else we got? Cannonball! Splash! The Battle of New Orleans. Oh, we got another. Save a horse. Ride a cowboy. Paul Revere, Midnight Ride. Ready to ride and spread the alarm through every Middlesex. What? Every Middlesex village. What's a Middlesex village, man? Does it mean you have, like, sex in the middle? I don't know. Village and farm for country folks to be up and to arm. Yeah, it's like, get up! You're in the middle of sex! Get up and get armed! Yeah! Yeah, boy! Battle of the Concord Bridge. The shot heard round the world was fired at Concord's North Bridge in 1775 and heralded the first American victory in our war for independence. What's this one? Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. Francis Scott Key. And so proudly waiting and we're gallantly dreaming. Yeah. What's this one? Founding of Boonesboro. Daniel Boone. All right. Daniel Boone. Frontiersman. Purchased from the Cherokee Nation. Cherokee people. Cherokee pride. And there's Betsy Ross and the flag. So she's knitting that flag, man. Mother of the Stars and Stripes gave her famous flag to George Washington at her home in the colonial Philadelphia. We have just a few more to go. 
the Declaration of Independence. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth to this country a new nation. <laughs> and that's where they got the phrase, give me your Johnny Hancock. And what's this one? Oh, it's upside down. Upside down. I have not yet begun to fight. John Paul Jones. Look at those ships. The high reliefness of the ship. I have not yet begun to fight. Prophetic words of victory uttered before John Paul Jones, before the defeat of the HMS Serapis in the greatest sea battle of the American Revolution. And last but not least, we have Patrick Henry. So, yeah, who's Patrick Henry? Give me liberty or give me death. All right, I heard that before. Conclusion of the Patrick Henry stirring plea for colonial self-determination. Rallying cry in the struggle for American independence. Give me liberty or give me death. So, hey... What do you think about these cool little sterling silver medals? I think they're pretty cool. So if you like them, give me a likey likey. And if you have something to say about it, comment below. And I think uh, it's about that time. Check it out now. Funk Soul Brother. Check it out now. Funky Soul Brother. So let's head on over to the Wild West Stacker. Where's he at, man? Let's go. Let's go. Let's head over to him. Choo choo. On the board. Aye, aye, aye. So I will see you next time. Bye bye.